First off, I'd like to give a huge thank you to YouTube user SlayerDark132, who posted a comment on my previous Division C video correctly pointing out that I had missed a very critical rule which made my previous design not valid. Basically, the bridge needs to sit on a pair of testing blocks which are exactly 6 inches wide. My previous design was built to a minimum height which made the width be 190 millimeters. This new design is 140 millimeters wide which fits nicely. I have also 3D printed proper new testing blocks to help illustrate this rule. As it turns out, this new design is much better. This was my first attempt and I used fairly conservative material hoping to hold around 15 kilograms, but as you can see it held an incredible 23.68 kilograms for an actual efficiency of over 2000. This modified design is very promising and should yield competition scores well over 2000 with some material optimization. Here is an end view picture which illustrates what the issue was with my old design and how this new 140mm wide design fits nicely on the 6 inch test block. As you can see, the new design is now about 2 centimeters taller than before because it still needs to pass through the same point at 12.5 centimeters to allow room for the 7 by 12 centimeter pass through block. Here is the side view showing the shaded taller design compared to before. The top is still 4 cm wide. Using the same build techniques as before, here are the completed sides weighing 5.17 grams and 5.2 grams. A design change like this required me to print a new 3D assembly jig. I was able to print it with just three parts this time. Here are the sides carefully taped into place and marked at the point which will allow the 12 cm tall pass through block to clear. A nice bonus with this taller design is that the angled part of the legs aren't as severe, so you can directly glue the cross supports to the legs without having to use any wedge pieces. There is some bowing due to it not being exactly flat, but that doesn't matter as long as you get the glue joint to be flat. Here is the bridge right before testing at 11.71 grams. Now I'm starting the loading process. You can see the nice minimum spec testing blocks under the bridge. They are 1.5 by 1.5 by 6 inches wide. It's fine that the angled part of the legs are wider than 6 inches as long as the bridge can safely fit as is the case here. Here I just ran out of sand in my primary bucket at just over 17 kilograms. Remember I have to add 149 grams of dead weight in this case to account for the mass above the load cell. Now I'm loading my extra sand from another bucket. It holds all that as well and just as I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get this bridge to fail, it breaks from holding the load a long time. There isn't a whole lot to learn from the slow-mo footage that wasn't obvious from the live video, but it's always fun to watch. From the fact that it held almost 24 kilograms, the legs can definitely be lightened for the next attempt. I was also happy to see that my 1 16th by 1 16th bass tension pieces around the bottom were plenty strong enough. I hope you enjoyed seeing my latest Division C bridge attempt and that it helps you with your builds this season.